The Griego case and other recent shootings have sparked not only a debate about gun violence, but also about the impact of violent movies and video games. And what sheriff's investigators revealed today about one of Nehemiah Griego's abiding interests is sure to keep that debate going. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live with that from the Newsplex. Alex? Dick, Jessica, the Columbine and Newtown school shooters both had one thing in common with Nehemiah Griego, a passion for violent video games. A warning that some of the images in this story are graphic and you might find them disturbing. Games, violent games, it's kind of what he was into. That news from Bernalillo County Sheriff Dan Houston at a press conference where investigators specified two video games Nehemiah Griego talked about a lot. Good to see you, mate. Take one of the rifles from the table. The game Call of Duty Modern Warfare was among Nehemiah's favorites, a modern day military game where players take on the role of a soldier carrying out violent missions. Another favorite, Grand Theft Auto, featuring thugs going on violent rampages in city streets and inside buildings. The way sheriff's officials describe it, the 15 year old seemed to light up while talking about the video games. Was quite uh, excited as he got the opportunity to discuss that with our investigators. Games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Grand Theft Auto have been criticized for their graphic content, with some claiming they desensitize players to violence. But it's unclear what effect, if any, playing the video games had on Nehemiah Griego. We do know it caught the attention of sheriff's investigators. We don't know if his parents knew the types of games he was playing. He enjoyed playing those types of video games. Whether he did it, did it without his parents' knowledge, um, I don't know. But I know that he played those games on a regular basis. Both Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Grand Theft Auto are rated M for Mature, the video game industry's equivalent of an R rating. Almost all game stores have policies intended to prevent underage kids from buying those games, but there's no specific law enforcing that on the books. Back to you. All right, Alex. President Obama has asked Congress for $10 million to study possible links between violent media and real life violence. 